Let's settle down, please, and we'll... We're going to go to... Uh, we, we skipped one last time, so we're going to go first to Zone 4. Hello. Um, uh, my name's Nelson Arada. I'm from Southern California, and um, I have a question. It, it's not really related to intrinsic value or, or any of that stock stuff, but uh, more on <laughs> um, house houses. Um, I'm still quite young. I don't have a house yet, and I'm thinking about buying a house someday uh, soon. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to put a down payment, uh, which means I might have to share or sell my shares. Um, and I was wondering if you can provide some insight on when is the best time to buy a house and how much down payment you should be putting down <laughs> um, in relation to interest rates and also in relation to available cash uh, and the stock market. Well, Charlie's going to give you an answer to that in a second. I'll just relate one story, which was when uh, I got married, we, had, we did have about $10,000 starting off, and I told Susie, I said, now, you, you know, there's two choices. It's up to you. You can, we can either buy a house, which will use up all my capital, and clean me out, uh, and it'll be like a carpenter who's had his tools taken away from him, or, uh, or you can let me work on this, and someday, who knows, maybe I'll even buy a little bit larger house than would otherwise be the case. So, so she was very uh, understanding on that point, and uh, we waited uh, until 1956. We got got married in 1952, and uh, I I I, I uh, decided to buy a house when it was about when the down payment was about 10 percent or so of my net worth because I I really felt I wanted to use the capital for other purposes. But that was a way different environment uh, in terms of what was available to buy. Uh, in effect, if you if you have the house you want to buy, I, you know I, I definitely believe in just going out and probably getting the job done. But I, uh, in effect, you're probably making something in the area of a seven or eight percent investment implicitly when you do it. So uh, you know you'll have to figure out your own equation from that. Charlie probably has better advice on that. He's he's, he's a big homeowner <laughs> in in both senses of the word. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I think the time to buy a house is when you need one. And, <laughs> and when do you need one? <laughs> well, I have very old-fashioned ideas on that, too. Uh, the single people, I don't care if they ever get a house. <laughs> Wait, when do you need one if you're married, Charlie? I'll follow up here for this. You need one when your wife wants one. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you've got that exactly right. Yeah. May I make that Sure. Gregory Crawford needs to go to the security office, please, for emergency message. Gregory Crawford to the security officer office for emergency message. Thank you. Okay. Hope it isn't a margin call. <laughs> <laughs> 